Basically, methyl B12 is one of the most important things I can uh, do for a parent to give them many things quickly. In my practice, 94 out of 100 children will respond to methyl B12, most of them mildly, but then it grows over the next two and a half to four years. It's something that they're going to see, and there's about 135 things that are possible that parents report. Of that, the average parent with a child less than 10 years old will see between 30 and 50 things. But again, they're mild. Uh, just like starting school, you start school, you start college, and it's not a lot right at the beginning. You are not anywhere close to getting your diploma. Why does it work? Basically, what methyl B12 does is it works for giving focus, attention, brainwave synchronization. It gives speech and language, etc. It works with the enzyme methionine synthase to do these things so that when you put a methyl group, I call it a methyl quarter, if you put a quarter in a vending machine, you get out what that vending machine does, bubble gum, coke, or candy. It's the same thing. So the methyl group is the same. So when you put a methyl quarter into a phospholipid vending machine, you get focus, attention, and brainwave synchronization. When you put a methyl quarter into a uh, guanocetic acid vending machine, you get speech and language. When you put a methyl quarter into neurotransmitters, out comes whatever those neurotransmitters do. So basically it allows the body to uh, methylate or do the things it needs, you know, operate the vending machines. But why is that important? Well, a high percentage, the majority of these kids have a defect in an enzyme MTHFR, and by having that defect, they, they cannot make their own methyl groups fast enough to donate to I call naked B12 to make methyl B12. There's a rat study that was just released by Okada from Japan and in there they show that of the analogs of B12 the only one that's really significantly biologically active is the methyl form and they showed that it works better. It's the shortest acting you know, it has the shortest lifespan. So these pure scientists basically said, why don't we tell our colleagues you know, who are clinicians that they probably should look at a different way of doing it, a different route of administration. We should probably tell them they should be using injections. And then they said, later on in the article, they said they didn't really find the best benefits until they got to high or very high doses. What did they find? They basically found that axons would be lengthened. They found that there would be more neurites made. They found that there would be less apoptosis, which is early cell death. They, it was involved in neuronal networking. There's kind of signaling pathways where the brain could talk to itself. Uh, it, it mimicked neurotrophic growth factors. And besides that, what it did is help repair transected nerves. So the methyl form is it, hands down, it really works. And we see it clinically. I've now done over a million dose evaluations personally, and I've monitored tens of millions with other doctors from around the world. It's really, it's good stuff. So that's how it works.